I think there was a conspiracy with oh. the event. You were the person that did it, right? Yeah, sure. That's why I didn't show up, because I couldn't be seated to see the crime. <laughs> you can't eat pussy right. You can't kiss right. I thought you told me I ate pussy good. Please come back. I will be your pay pig. I'm so oh. desperate for you. I'll let you date other guys. I'll let you do anything you want to me. <laughs> and scene. I've been prepping this binge and cringe for a long time. Ever since we've been like talking about slop things, uh, sure. as like day to day, whatever. I'm like, oh, we should do an episode then, and then like we're not able to do the episode. So mm -hmm. the first thing is Sea Dogs charity event <laughs> is written on here, oh, which is like decades okay. ago. Also, welcome back to Binge and Cringe. Welcome back. It's good to be back. Hell yeah! I was just saying stands before the call. Uh, well during the call but before the podcast my hair's mm. crazy today <laughs> uh okay last episode you literally did green face with a bald cap so i think we're gonna get through it uh yeah but i obviously wasn't trying to like look presentable then and mm. today i'm like and you're trying to look presentable today well i'm yeah i'm always trying but uh yeah, yeah I, I look like ludwig von cooper i feel like i'm giving that's good ludwig von cooper he's a looker von cooper vibes with my hair for sure. Not the rest of my face, hopefully. How are you doing, first of all, Stan? Are you okay? Uh, I'm doing well. I just got back from traveling, went to my hometown, Sick. celebrated my mom's birthday. It was great. Uh, a little bit tired. Uh, I'll say under this hat, probably also a little bit of a crazy hair. It actually looks not too bad. You know what? Not too bad. Hey, Sorry. It looks Handsome. so good. It looks Handsome so much ever. better than mine. I can definitely now see you and I know. <laughs> talk about it. Uh, so just kind of chilling, ready to get back. on. You know, I'm actually, this has nothing to do with anything, but I'm <laughs> missing I am absolutely realizing I was addicted to college football 25. <laughs> Yo, really? So the whole weekend I'm gone, I'm like, dude, I wish I could be playing it right now. I wish <laughs> I wish I could be playing it on stream and like having fun. Yeah, and the streams are good. Yeah. People have been saying you need to do the press conferences and you've done a couple yeah. of like bringing up the microphones and shit, but you need to like proper yeah. go for it. It's been it's been fun. It's been good. Yeah, there's just no other characters. I've, I've thought about it over the weekend and but I'm just so busy. man. I'm sure there's like an update. It was five years ago that you did it last, right? There's got to be some new filters that you could download that would uh, no, make they your actually, face change in a different way. Dude, do you not know the truth of about uh, the snap lens. What do you mean the truth? <laughs> they canceled it. They shuttered the project. I still have the old download as long as I don't hit update. But everything is like uh, NA. So like it doesn't show you the names of the filters anymore. It's just like NA, 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 NA in all the boxes. Oh, and so shit. I have to guess. There's got to be click a them new thing, guess. right? Oh, sure. I'm sure I can upgrade and stuff. But it's like, you know me. I'm stuck <laughs> in my ways. Uh, snap lens is, is gone. That is very funny. Uh, yeah. well, at least I guess if you like change, then you wouldn't have access to the old ones, but you're never going to use them again. Are you right? Correct. No, I have no plans on using them. I could find something new. Uh, I actually had a green screen idea. I had some ideas. Well, this is not to talk about college football, but I do agree. There's some fun stuff I could do on twitch.tv slash stands. Yeah. Hey, speaking of fun stuff on twitch.tv forward slash stands, um, oh. Sea Dogs charity event was fucking so sick, and you were a part of it. I'm glad. Kind of, right? <laughs> yeah. So I had been planning it, working with Connor, working with the team for like the past two months. And then two days before it, I test positive for COVID. Yeah. So I don't want to be patient zero. What's really funny, I didn't want to be patient zero with all these creators and like positive vibes. And then halfway through, Ludwig shows up, masked up, fucking COVID <laughs> out of his up mind. And keeps yeah. on like, it keeps on falling down. So he's having to like pull it up and stuff. It was very funny. Yeah. So I guess maybe. Maybe I could have showed up. I'm glad I didn't. I think public health is the, the right choice there. That I unironically saw like quite a few chat messages about uh, Ludwig's mask, but in a way that was like, oh, he believes in the pandemic or stuff like that, which oh, is crazy. No. Like, I don't yeah. think they were doing a joke. I think they were like, oh my God, he's wearing a mask. Ooh, look at this loser. <laughs> Which yeah, I thought was so funny. That's crazy because even if it's not COVID, like the cold exists, like in the flu exists. Yeah. Those are things that no one doesn't believe in. And it's like, yeah, you can stop the spread uh, by wearing a mask. Yeah, I mean, obviously Slow he didn't go spread. there after testing positive. But like if you're ill, yeah. it's good to wear a mask, especially if you're going to be like yeah. around a bunch of microphones that other people are going to use. You don't yeah. want to. That's like the easiest way to transfer shit is to talk into something close and then give that to someone else to also talk into close. Um, yeah, besides kissing, I think that's high up there on the list. Yeah, uh, true. I, hey, didn't think about kissing. It, I, that is uh -huh. something that Ludwig would do at an event normally, so I'm glad it's that... It's something that he does multiple times. The mask also prevents that, I guess, which is good. It's like a little yeah. chastity belt for the face. Okay, let's not say that. <laughs> <laughs> it stops him from face fucking everyone. Um, yes, it does. You know what it does? I had a question about Sea Dog's event. Um, okay. 
there was a lot of things up for grabs. If you don't know, it was a charity event where um, like creators sell things, essentially. like mm-hmm. They auction them off for charity. So a lot of creators were like, fuck, I don't know what to put up. I'll put up an hour collab with me. Yeah. Um, and there was a bunch of people that did that. Uh, and the person that won all of them was just some person called Claudia online that seemed yeah. to like win every single one. They got like Ray and Lynn Ludwig, yeah, I think, I think they maybe. they paid $80,000 for uh, Ray. What was it? It was a VTuber one. It was Iron Mouse, Ray, Yeah, Connor. Iron Mouse and Connor. Yeah, because they yeah, were a package. Yeah, yeah. yeah I remember. Yeah. Uh, Which yeah, was that's crazy. hugely Shout expensive. out to Claudia. Um, I, I wonder, because yeah. it was an hour for a collab, but it wasn't. Like you didn't, you didn't have to be a creator, I guess. Um, yeah, you could just play games. Like you could play Apex Legends with Connor if you wanted. Like, yeah. Like, so that's what, what I'm. I'm doing. wondering if we're ever gonna see that, like from Claudia, if she's gonna do like a huge video, or if it's gonna be like just a private nice hour. <laughs> which oh is so no! Crazy. I have to imagine. I, maybe I'm uh, too business coded right now, but like you kind of have to use that. If you're a streamer, you're buying that. Yeah, but if you are, the... you use that name. You use your streamer name. You don't say Claudia. That's her name. No, she's just a small streamer. But is she got she's the a, Claudia? She's a YouTuber. Uh, uh, she's like Claudia something. Well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, you put your full username so that people can search it. If you just type Claudia sure, into sure, YouTube, sure, sure. you're not going to find a fucking account. You know, How are you going to be able to access any of the stuff? Hey, I agree. Who is Claudia Moneta? Here we go. Claudia Moneta, a VTuber who spent $68,200 at Sea Dogs Auction. Okay, oh, so Pokemane there's like is the other one she accounts on it and stuff. Pokemon, that is the one that I actually wanted to talk about, Stans, because yes. I think there was a conspiracy with oh. the event, and I think oh. you were involved, and <laughs> you can be the whistleblower, Stans, okay. here today on the episode. I would love to be the whistleblower, yes. Uh, you may have seen, and when I say may, I'm almost sure that you did uh mm-hmm. the pokimane's um bidding war got a bit oh you insane. mean the mark cuban the elon musk 500k for pokimane <laughs> yeah mark cuban and elon musk were really keen yeah. to spend as much time as possible with pokimane um yes. and the bidding went up to five hundred thousand dollars yeah now Obviously, Mark Cuban and Elon Musk weren't actually bidding on this, and the one don't say obviously. Two continue. <laughs> I'm meaning more that Elon has got you know he's got better things to do with his time, like arguing an alt account with Playing XQC Diablo 4. on yeah. Twitter. <laughs> oh yeah, that was also crazy. Yeah, with um, Destiny. Yeah, for, uh, well, yeah, with Destiny, and then yeah, it was that he called out XQC because he was listening, and he said like, "I love your games" or something like that. It was. I saw a clip. It was insane. Um, yeah. Anyway, the thing that makes me think this is my conspiracy alarms going off is mm-hmm. how many articles and people that were talking about the five hundred thousand dollar bid for Pokimane and how crazy uh-huh. that was that it was happening. That's a lot of yeah, free think, publicity so, there, Stan. I'm sorry. You think that maybe Connor mm. or Pokey or Offbrand mm. would have done this to try and get free publicity? I love how you say Offbrand last. Like, they would be the most <laughs> least likely. Like, least likely, <laughs> the least this, likely they would want it. Why would Pokemon fake this? It doesn't make sense for I, her. Uh, sorry to make her seem like she's worth $500,000 for an no, hour. Dude, there's... Only one universe that this makes sense. There's, there's, sorry, there's two universes that make sense, right? The, okay. the most likely, which is probably what happened, which is uh-huh. there were some trolls online that were like uh, faking accounts and, and stuff, sure. and they were able yes. to fake the payment. And I guess maybe if they're like children, they could, they would think that in faking it, they have an, an actual chance to win. Um, maybe, yeah. I don't know uh, because. The only other reason I would think someone would fake that would be to publicize stuff for themselves. So it's crazy they put Mark Cuban and Elon Musk as the as the names. Or the other theory is that it's just to get a, a bunch of free publicity from articles and people talking about it on Twitter. So people know about the event, so the people tune in on the event, and then everything does better for off-brand. I see. Now... None of this is public. I think it's only you and I that know about this one specific thing that has lived in my head rent free for weeks. What do I know? I don't know what I know. 
Yeah, you don't know what you're going to remember. Okay. There is one man who turned nothing into something. One man who, by the sheer nature of his voice and lies, created an industry that is Major League Eating. I am talking about the commissioner of Major League Eating himself who lied to newspapers, who lied to people, who said that people are making a living doing this, and then when they showed up, they liked what they saw. So was it right. actually a bad thing? Sorry, okay. Uh, uh, for those of you who don't know, I've been doing research yeah. into Major League Eating. <laughs> this I think needs it's to be fascinating. a lot more context in that because you have told me this, and even I yeah. struggle to follow. So yeah. the context from how, what I understand uh, yeah, major league do your eating. Own research. I don't. I don't want to give him the fucking golden goose here. <laughs> it wasn't a thing. People weren't making money from it. But he like yeah. he went to the the companies and went, "Hey, people are making money from this." So that yeah. therefore got buzz around it, and then people were able to make money. Yeah, from it. he just he basically called every newspaper in the country and was like, "You guys got to get on this competitive eating thing. Yeah. They're making real money." And everyone's like, "No, they aren't." And he's like, "They sure are." <laughs> and then all of a sudden, overnight, he went from just a guy with no job to the head of major league eating, which is still a thing today. Yeah. Yeah. And it's very funny too. And all the eyes on it were able to then generate enough people being interested in it to then there yes. being money involved. It was a fake. So, sorry, are you saying that you are that guy for, I for this? Did you do it? Man, you admitted to it? <laughs> it would make a lot of sense that someone who was interested in that model to do it. But I'll say I would never do something of the sort. You would never. Scout's honor. Okay. Hand to heart, hand to God. You And you would not know if anyone on the team were behind maybe doing something that would be like that at all, right? Wouldn't know. Wouldn't ask, though, either. You That's wouldn't know. About I me. imagine mm -mm. there's not like anyone on the team that would have the ability to fake things like that. There's like really tech savvy maybe that's good at programming uh, goes by the name yeah. of Otto that would be really good at faking uh, things like that here's the crazy thing you don't have to be tech savvy all you have to do is like yeah, make you, the donation the and then call your so credit card company you just type shit yeah. Oh, yeah, that's even it doesn't crazier. even have to be yeah, real, right? <laughs> yeah. You can just edit These the text on real. the website. For those of you who were maybe lost in the sauce here, it was actually just online trolls. People who were donating hundreds I don't of thousands believe, of dollars. You're saying lost in the sauce? I don't believe you. I believe that uh, there was someone off-brand on the inside that was doing this. I wish that I committed that kind of fraud to drive excitement for the program because I think that would be great. I, I Honestly, I wish I did it, but I did not. Would it be fraud? Like the yeah, you're committing credit did. card fraud. Yeah, what yes. they actually did with the account is fraud. I'm saying yeah. if you like inflated numbers on the back end and just typed in shit and didn't use a card, like you uh -huh. just manipulated the website to save 500k from Mark Cuban, is that sure? Like that's fraud in the sense of for the people coming on the site, but is it like a legal fraud? Yeah, I think it's I think it's fraud either way. I think it's fraud all the way down. But there's no there's no money involved. And you're not uh, taking money from other people because you're just stopping them from being yeah, able to win you're it. You're lying about who's doing it. You're lying about it being there. You are incentivizing other people to participate. So like, let's say we lied about 10,000 and then someone bid 11. It's oh, like, true. Bid 11? Dude, imagine if someone <laughs> bid 600,000. Yeah, yeah, there's a real person. <laughs> Mr. Beast is like, wait, Mark Cuban's in this? I'll bid 600,000. Holy shit. Okay. And then all of a sudden, you yeah, know, but it's, that's, hey, it's an idea. I'm saying it's a win-win, <laughs> right? It's either real and it's Mr. Beast, or if you are willing to do real. something illegal, it is a win-win. Yes. Why don't more people like rob from banks and shit? It's a win-win. Yeah, it's just free money, man. Um, okay, so we've come to the conclusion that you were the person that did it, right? That you yeah, were in the back sure. end. I'm, personally. I'm, I'm willing to fall on that sword. I'm, okay, that's why I didn't show up because I couldn't be seated at the scene of the crime. I was at home. <laughs> it's weird the that numbers. you were the whistleblower to your own crime, Stance. I just realized. Yeah, yeah I'm playing both sides. <laughs> right. The yeah, it. yeah. The sides mm -hmm. of the law and off brand. Oh no! The next thing that I wrote down, Stance. Mm -hmm. uh, I realized I don't actually have the link, but I <laughs> have to show you because of how sick it is. So okay. Can you, like, pad for time or something? Do you have, like, a, could you balance something on your nose? I don't know. Do you have an interesting topic to talk about? Uh, yeah, you find your link. I want to talk about the movie Twisters. This oh, is you a did film actually tell me you went to go and see it. Yeah, yeah. I, I went to, no, find your link, bitch. Get out of here. This I is can, I can the audience. take, like, I can you can't participate in the conversation. You. I'm just scrolling oh through a group chat. He's, he's going to slow down. Uh, okay, <laughs> here's the thing about it. I saw the movie Twisters. For those who don't know, Twisters is a movie that has come out 20 years after the original Twister, a natural disaster movie. Uh, did you know I learned that tornadoes basically only happen in the United States of America? 
It's like 98% of worldwide tornadoes really? happen in our tornado alley. Yeah. I knew that like it was way more common in America, but I assumed yeah. also other places in the world. I didn't realize it was like literally just... That's yeah, so it's sick. like all of them happen here, and then every so often another place will get one. Like one touchdown in France you know, last year or whatever Yeah, I'll was, say the, like the weather that you guys have is maybe the craziest in the world uh, in terms well, of like... Well, we just have a big-ass country. You know what yeah, I mean? It goes like yeah. super wide. Yeah. Uh, sorry, carry on. So how was the movie? Uh, sorry. So the movie was fine. The movie was fine. I, I kind of I enjoyed it. There were like parts that were just silly enough to like get me on board. But there were also parts that wanted me to like end my life in the middle of the theater. Okay. And I want to talk about one specific moment that will not spoil anything about the movie, but we'll just tell you like what was in the writer's minds at this. Okay. Uh, and so uh, the main characters are uh, what's his Glenn name? Powell. Glenn Powell. Glenn the Powell. Fucking thank you. Handsome with man. a dog. Who is uh, by the, the way is a movie? YouTuber. Uh, there's no dog in this movie. That's crazy because he's everywhere on the fucking press. Why is Glenn bringing his dog? There? I assumed the dog was just in the movie, and that's why there's no dog. He was in bringing him to all the red He's like, we gotta shit. find this dog, and, but there's no, there's no dog. Okay, there's no dog. Sorry, you said he was uh, a YouTuber. Then, yeah, he's a YouTuber in the movie, which is so funny. In the movie, because I don't even real life for a second. I, no, in the movie because uh, he, he's like, I was like, he's like a dumbass YouTuber, and everyone's like, he's so annoying, and then it turns out he's kind of smart, and it's like, oh, he actually is not just like a vapid YouTuber. You know what I mean? That's like part of his character growth. That's so uh, them funny. realizing that YouTubers they, do, they made Ludwig in the movie for yeah. real. That's yeah, that's crazy. exactly. Uh, and his other character is the girl from, uh, what is it? Where the Crawdads Sing and a couple other movies. She's like popping off and everything lately. Yes. But what I want to talk about Daisy. is that there is Daisy Edgar Jones. Yes. It's a triple for sure. Uh, that sounds Edgar right. James almost. Um, okay. So he shows up at her door with a pizza and he's like, I'd like to take you on a date, little missy. Uh, he's got a southern accent. This one. He's from Arkansas. <laughs> and she slams the door in his face and then she realizes I'll give him a chance, whatever. And he's like, I'm going to take you somewhere that'll make you forget all your problems. And this is set in Oklahoma and they go to the rodeo and I'm not thinking anything of it yet. It's like, all right, fine. And they're doing like slow motion shots, a lot of B-roll of like bucking Broncos and storms are right. like very sexually powered, I'm assuming. Yeah, kind of. But really, it's just like, all right, they're at a rodeo, whatever, man. Oh, okay. And it's not until we are on the precipice of the joke happening that I realize why they have done this. And it is so she can look at him and reveal she's from Oklahoma and that this, in fact, is not her first rodeo. <laughs> and like, oh, my body like split out. But she does it. She basically looks at the camera and she goes, I'm from here. So it's not my so first rodeo. Sick. And I'm, I'm, I'm convulsing in the theater, like uh, in The Exorcist. And it's like they, they're not allowed to do that. That single handling uh, makes me want to go and see this movie. That's so sick. Yeah, it is. Uh, at both times, the best and worst part of the movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. It's I mean, like, I'm, oh I'm not like, God. from a, I've not seen it, uh, and uh -huh. I'm not thinking that it's going to be like groundbreaking, revolutional cinema. It's just like... Yeah, it's, it's just fun action movie, whatever. It's literally yeah. the... Is it meant to be a sequel or like set in the same universe as the first one, the uh, Twister? Well, the first one is just set in the universe of the United States of America. So that's, that's the only what difference. I, it's I just mean, about like, Storm Chasers. Do those characters from no, Twister no, exist in this? No. Or? There's no characters okay. from Twister that exist. It's basically a, just a new tornado movie. Right. Because, yeah, the, the kind of um, disaster movie kind of vibe, they're always they're uh -huh. like, if they're done right, they're really fun. And that's the. Yeah, like Day After Tomorrow is a great movie that is also a disaster movie. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah, so I, I was expecting like that level from Twisters. So yeah, I, it's not that good. It's it's much cheesier. It's much goofier. Uh, it, it is. A, You're a describing fun watch. the parts of that those kind of movies that I like, though. I like it being. Cheesy oh, fair. Then goofy, maybe you'll so. like it. Maybe you'll like it more. Yeah. Like, uh, obviously not as bad. But like, uh -huh. if Sharknado wasn't as goofy and cheesy, then it would be a, a, no reason to watch it. Whereas there's actual, there's if like a Sharknado reason to watch it. If Sharknado wasn't as goofy and cheesy, it would be Twisters. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, good. I, I'm on yeah. board then. That's kind of <laughs> okay. I was that was the vibe level on the scale that I was expecting you to say. So I, yeah. I think I will really enjoy it. Yeah, it's it's got some part. There, there's another part where he like walks out in the rain in slow motion in a white t-shirt, and you're like, this is so. There is a lot of like objectifying of him more than her, right? Which is like who he is in like the media today, right? He's like this leading man who's in every movie. Oh, for sure. Uh, which is so funny. And I will. Are, do, are you? Do you mind one more spoiler? Uh, I mean, I prefer no, no spoilers. The, the, what you've said okay. so far is fine, so I'd prefer no more. Yeah. So, um, I, I, okay. I mean, you know what? I'm going to hold it, and we can talk about it in another episode if you watch it. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, yeah. sorry, I'm sure it's a good little tidbit. 
Um, yeah, it's, it's not even like a tidbit. It's just like something that happens or doesn't happen that is like, oh, wow. Right. In a international <laughs> There's movie, no twisters in the thing. movie. <laughs> Dude, imagine if it just wasn't about twisters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's something okay did you uh, find your a, link yeah i found my link but we'll get there in a second Perfect. uh mm-hmm. that i saw a tweet um that was uh i can't remember like the context of it there was like a picture involved doesn't matter the main sentiment was mm-hmm. it's really funny how like hollywood responded to overly sexualizing uh women by now just equally sexualizing men <laughs> right yeah like yeah, recently bit, yeah. the, the kind of the tides haven't turned uh, it's just like men are now being like forced to get buff for very innocuous movies that don't need them to be buff yeah. in. Uh, and the standard for for like how a, ma- a male looks in a movie is now pretty similar to how they'd expect a woman to look, which is not, neither of them are good. <laughs> but yeah, at least now not it's to get equal. like. <laughs> men's righty but if you look at movies in like the 80s and 90s where like the main actor was considered a hunk and it's like wait what yeah that looks like the most average guy in the world now hey, but it's because they're just like blowing themselves up with fucking human growth hormone and their veins are popping oh, out dude, their even the, I, I think the post that i saw was uh wolverine from the first wolf but like first x-men movie like yeah, he looks yeah. good when he takes his top off but he is not buff and it's crazy that now in deadpool fucking and wolverine three whatever the fuck uh yeah. he's like what is 30 years maybe since i think maybe 35 jeez is it really um and he's like insanely ripped hugh jackman is like yeah i'm looking at this Hugh Jackman level. from the first one and yeah he looks he just looks like a, he looks like a buff guy but he obviously doesn't have like the definition and dehydration and everything yeah. that he has in the newer movies like i look at first wolverine and be like that guy is like he's he's working out he looks good and yeah yeah exactly that level now is like so much higher than it used to be it's crazy uh yeah yes yeah, that's I'll, I'll, I'll provide I'll, the, the picture will be in the video oh, version, yeah just just but, put the two that i'm, I'm talking yeah about that comparison is fucking crazy and i don't think yeah. the second photo that's actually from the wolverine which yeah, is it's not even from uh deadpool and yeah, wolverine, yeah. which he might be crazier actually it's even more tool. ripped and they make a whole thing about it from uh oh, in in God. deadpool wolverine because I, I saw that i don't know if you've seen it um oh, i have not seen it now it's pretty good uh i don't have okay. too much to say about it because we have a shit ton to actually talk about and okay i don't really have any relevant insights so it's good if you like marvel movies you'd like it stands i don't know if it's for you but mm-hmm. genuinely the jokes are pretty good like there's some I, I, there was multiple times where i was laughing and uh-huh. like still laughing when i was hearing the next joke and then laughing again like i didn't have time to stop laughing in between the jokes um, that's great it's just a it's a roller coaster ride of laughs yeah which i was surprised at. i wouldn't say it's like the best movie ever but uh mm-hmm. it was definitely funny so go and watch it if that's your kind of vibe um right the link that i found um, yes. <laughs> so uh th- this was so long ago stans uh mm-hmm. the last time that we did a, a a little slop episode um this is to do with england u- losing the euros <laughs> oh i you know i actually watched you watched us lose the finals yeah sick well i also watched us lose um yeah. and i have proof of that i want this to be like a british news article about like fans crying in pubs and it's you <laughs> um it basically is <laughs> um, <laughs> right. so this is a random fucking youtube channel i have no idea what the fuck it is but basically uh-huh. for context i watched the england euros final um, on like a fucking VIP table at the uh, MEN Arena in Manchester. Um, That's awesome. And uh, it, my friend works for Lab Bible and they got a table because one of the people was like performing there and stuff. So we got it for free. Um, okay. And it was very fun. But uh, I didn't realize there were a bunch of cameras filming people's responses, like the reactions to the thing, because uh-huh. it was like basically here and london were like the two places that they would cut to for like reactions Mm -hmm. and stuff so they were filming like the whole entire time and this youtube video cuts together like all of the reactions and i'm in it a couple times (laughs) oh you're famous Uh, you're a famous reactor yeah if you look down in the bottom right i will slowly Uh start to appear uh and i'm gonna turn it down because there's no real reason for the sound yeah yeah 
Uh, oh, oh, there, there I am. you are. Oh, hand on face immediately. Yeah, yeah. So this was the first goal. Uh, oh, no, this wasn't the first goal. <laughs> but look at dude, me, you look dude. Like, I'll tell you, you look like you know you're on camera and you're like auditioning for the role. No, hands I was just to drunk face, as hell. Hands to heart, I am, head back. I yeah. am fucking like proper reacting like I was. Yeah, you're living in the moment. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're not holding anything back. This yeah. geezer stands up, blocks the view of me. Yeah. Oh, he's happy. Look at I this. I remember that. Right after halftime, there's been no energy for England in the first half. Oh my <laughs> look, God. look at him holding his girl. That's so funny. Yeah. This is me and all of my friends on the right. And yeah. Just spinning jumping in a up and down. Yeah. And then we all like get on the, the rails and shit. And <laughs> we're, we're in like, they're in the pig pen, you know, we're in the VIP area. We're like, let's go peasants. <laughs> uh, so that oh, was yeah, my you're, friend. You're actually trying to here. rile up the crowd in the pig pen. Yeah. I, I pick him up. But as I do, uh -huh. he kind of like, my friend doesn't really understand what's happening. So he like leans uh -huh. over me as I uh -huh. pick him up. Like you see him lean here. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, he's the going the wrong way. Just over. <laughs> so then yeah. I, I managed to just catch him. And then this is me shouting at him. <laughs> just I'm like, bro, he uh -huh. nearly died. What the hell? Uh, and there's another clip um, uh, of me being absolutely devastated because we lose. <laughs> oh, no. And you know, you know why you lost? A little sports head. I'm a sports guy now. You You're might a sports see me playing, guy. Why did we lose uh, that? Sports stuff. Didn't put Tony in soon enough. Put him in for the last fucking five minutes. You kidding me? A couple corner you, kicks. You, you're spitting Gareth Southgate. What could we do? You know, what could we do with him? Uh, Get him honestly, out of here. It, I mean, he is stepping down, um, mm -hmm. but it is crazy. His track record is actually really good. Um, uh, yeah, that, I feel like <laughs> wait, hates him, sorry, did you but see he made it. I'm oh, sorry, no, 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 I was, I was talking about, okay. I'll rewind a bit, I slammed yeah. the table. It is really like I knew I was being filmed, I had no idea. Yeah, yeah you're looking around. <laughs> <laughs> did you like? This guy's an actor, I've I seen this before. I no fucking idea. Um, and then <laughs> afterwards, uh, after this whole like event, there was a talk sport guy coming around, like interviewing people for like a post match sure. analysis or whatever. Yeah. Um, and one of my little snippets got on the radio as well, which is cool. Um, uh -huh. So it's you're doing the Ludwig. Oh, it's just it. really sucky. It's really really sucky. I think I, I think that's my quote. Yeah, I said it's really sucky. <laughs> um, I don't have oh, access to that here. But uh -huh. uh, this is all my You'll friends. In the video. My whole group just like fuck, dude, at the final yeah. whistle. So funny. Uh, this probably not good for audio listeners, but hey, for visual, this is great because you see me fucking so pissed off. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll stop there. I mean, it um, was sad. It was sad. Yeah. I'll, for for audio and video listeners, although it's a radio clip, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll insert sure. here my little snippet that was on the radio because it's fun. Well, these England fans were watching the match at the AO Arena in Manchester and say there's hope for the future. Just sadness. There was one glisten of hope and then it, it all went away. Yeah. Wow, wasn't that a good snippet, Stan? You heard that. That was great. I can't believe you said those words on the radio. That's legal in the UK? Yeah, you can get away with that. And they posted it, you know? It's not me. Sheesh. I can't be held accountable. Um, That's wild. It'd be funny if I forget to like add it or something. Things are looking good in the UK because we lost and uh, this was a better transition if we were talking about this more recently. Um, sure. Because the next thing that I, we have to talk about, despite it being so long ago now, is uh -huh. Trump nearly dying and <laughs> nearly getting oh, assassinated. Oh my God, that was before this? Yeah, that was after the Euros. Yeah, wow, okay. Um, so the only reason we have to talk about it, we don't, uh, it's been talked to death. Everything funny sure. or interesting has been said about it. Um, yeah. But when something's in the zeitgeist stance, we have to talk about it, you know? We have to talk about it. And um, it's, it's kind of still in the zeitgeist because people are conspiracy theorying about it now. No, no, you don't. You, I think you're missing, misinterpreting what I'm saying when I say oh. the zeitgeist. There's only one zeitgeist oh. stance. Oh, sorry. Is there a Glee Trump thing? <laughs> This is quite possibly the most <laughs> insane video that I have ever seen to do with Glee. And okay, I'm ready. It didn't, I'll say, I've shown you things with like millions of views. It's not got millions of views, but it is is maybe the best. Okay, are you ready? Okay, I am ready. I see a shadowy figure. A shadowy figure of Finn. Hold that chart. That chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something to say, it's, it's take insane. A look at what happened. Jesus. 
who who thought who saw that happen and when i'm gonna make a fan cam of finn yeah first sorry, for audio <laughs> listeners I, I will describe it exactly how it is it is a fan cam of finn who is walking around the high school it is overlaid with donald trump speaking at this rally in which he's been shot finn turns to the camera and does finger guns and right when he does the finger guns it is the shots ringing out cuts back to donald trump holding his ear and then finn turns around and walks away and it's just a regular fan cam yeah again. like smiling the whole time at camera like he knows uh, what he's doing kind of vibes yes uh, yeah, and crazy. then after it, when the music kicks in, it is like a, a classic fan cam of like hot shots yeah. of Finn walking around high school. It is fucking insane. At like crazy. This is the kind of shit that was going crazy over Twitter. But obviously, mm-hmm. like this one, this particular Glee one didn't. But like some of the posts people were posting, it was crazy. And I think the FBI has got a lot of work to do to try and find and go to all these people's houses because apparently they do yeah. that now if you tweet something crazy. That is crazy. You know, I'm number one Trump hater. I think I've talked about it on stream. I forever. thought you were going to be I've like talk- number one FBI watch list. No, I'm number one FBI watch list straight <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. up. I'm number one Trump hater and I don't like him. I don't like, but we were going to do a video on like memes that came out of the shooting. And I was the one that was like, honestly, this just feels weird. Yeah, I like, agree. I, I hate Trump. And honestly, shout out to Kyle Gass. Maybe I wish things went differently. But like it feels the memes feel weird. Like that video we just watched, weird, man. Very, like, very weird. The only yeah. reason so this was gonna be we were like you said, we were gonna do a dive. This was gonna be one of the videos that I was gonna yeah. show you because of how insane this it is. Crazy. is. Yeah. Um and obviously because it's glee. Uh mm-hmm. but a lot of them were like it was the the memes that I enjoyed weren't the ones that were like at Trump's expense, that were sure. just like because of it being such a it like poignant uh, like uh, a, a moment in history that is like, holy shit, I can't believe this happened kind of vibe. Right. Rather than like celebrating this. You like the classic, like he's one shot, bro. And it's like the enemy that's one shot. And it's like the little ear. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, maybe not. That's not, I wouldn't say that's <laughs> up there. This next one though is, and Glee is still in the zeitgeist stands. For Leah Michelle. <laughs> and Sorry. For, for I, audio I'm not even understanding this one. It is a picture of Trump, but the ear side is black and white. And there's like a gun and a uncrossed heart. And, a, a fucking skull emoji to show that he got shot in the ear for I don't because, get it because Lee Michelle can't read so she's like all the news articles that are talking about it they're not able to oh for Lee Michelle sorry I thought the shooter was doing it for Lee Michelle <laughs> for, this, this is so much funnier I was trying to understand why Lee Michelle would have beef with Trump no, <laughs> yeah, no this, it wasn't this on behalf of her this is yeah, to explain yeah it was literally to, her. to give her the news thank you that's so much better I was stumped yeah. looking at this yeah. And this one, 2.2 million. Oh, it's yeah. in the zeitgeist yeah, stands. People be saying this. Um, People do be saying. And hey, maybe a little leak here. Uh, <gasps> if you like it's in the zeitgeist, which I think is like probably the most common like catchphrase or whatever that we it's say on second this. second behind Baba Booey, that's a spicy meatball. Baba Booey, that it. is a spicy meatball. Uh, yeah. Then watch this space. There might be some things. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, and if you join the cringest tier on our Patreon, as well as all of the like commentaries and uh, all the extra stuff that's on there. Yeah, you get, sh- you get Shrek. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, you get Shrek. That's on like the mm-hmm. cringe tier, though. The cringest tier is in like the, the $20 one. Um, you also get access on our Discord to like a special cringest chat. Um, mm-hmm. Because anyone that's subscribed on that tier can recommend a movie for me to watch on the Patreon. But also, mm-hmm. uh, if there's like updates and things that are happening before we like reveal it to everyone, I might drop some little sneak peeks and stuff in there. Right. So can I, it, can I say something? Y- you can always say something as a podcast. I don't think I'm in the cringest chat. <laughs> <laughs> do you not have access? <laughs> no, I don't have access, dude. Dude, you need to be subscribed to the You said that, Patreon. and I was like, what are you talking I'm about? Sorry. What are you ta- I'm in the I'm Patreon. Sh- I'm looking right now. So, yeah, but you you aren't paying for our Patreon. You're not on the $25 tier. So, sorry, I'm not going to pay myself money to get access. Well, there you go. So you don't get access. I'm sorry. That's how it works. Oh, my God. Uh, so yeah. if you want access to a chat that Stans can't even see, uh, you can drop maybe a little fuck you middle finger in there, and Stans will never see it. But we'll know that we're chatting shit about him. Um, what are you doing now are you paying 
are you going on the Patreon to pay for it so that you can no, have I'm access? No, I'm complaining in Discord. You complaining? Okay, this joke doesn't work because they can't see the Discord and the podcast. If, they're in the, if they can join the Discord and they can see this discourse <laughs> that's about to happen, I'm pissed. Great. And maybe if I'm feeling generous, I'll post a screenshot of what you said. Don't. You don't have to post a screenshot. Anyway, moving on. Uh, oh yeah, this one's not really worth it. There's another Glean the Zeitgeist thing. Just so you, this isn't for the podcast. Just so sure. you know, stands. There's one that exists. We're not going to talk about it, but okay. it glees in the Zeitgeist so much that there's too much to even cover in the podcast. I understand that, and we are the Glee podcast. I guess we could talk a bit about uh, the reveal at Comic Con that happened recently. This is a bit of like topical news. Um, yeah, you're you're a comic guy. You probably care about this. Yeah, I'm a. I, I like the MCU. I like Marvel. I like following that kind yeah. of stuff. Um, uh-huh. and you don't. Famously, you you hate that kind of stuff. Really, I would say I'm so pure neutral on it. You do not act like that when you talk about it. <laughs> when you say that I you think hate being it, neutral think... on it is probably worse than hating it. You know what I mean? Indifferent, I think, maybe better than neutral because indifferent gives sure, like sure. So you're right. You're right. You're right. Neutral is like I can see the positives and negatives. Yeah, yeah I am. I am fully indifferent. Yeah. Um. So Robert Downey Jr. is doom apparently yeah he's he's Uh, dr doom they revealed it on stage i think he said something like new mask same task or something weird which is like (laughs) robert downey jr takes his mask off and it's alex horn you're like wait what (laughs) oh i was thinking more like a sleeper cell kind of command taskmaster us is back and robert downey jr is alex horn (laughs) greg davies walked on stage and he's like the the (laughs) doom is now (laughs) the the alex horn that's so funny um, yeah, that would be sick. Yeah, I just don't get it. Um, and mm-hmm. I I realized that this might be just a one-sided conversation because I don't think you know uh, stuff about... Do you? What, what's your knowledge on Doctor Doom, Stan? Do you have any? Doctor Doom wears a mask. In Marvel Snap, he summons 255 Doom bots. <laughs> oh, I forget you actually play Marvel Snap. He is or the did. enemy of the Fantastic Four. Yes, uh, I mean he's the enemy I, of a lot of people, but famously Fantastic yeah, Four. Villain. Yeah, I think that's like the big Fantastic Four fight him. Yep. Um, he, I mean that's all I know. He's like what? He's um. Have you seen the uh, old Fantastic Four movies? I say from old. Europe. I'm sure uh, I, I've seen only the oldest one with Jessica Alba. Right. Yeah, there was two of those. I don't know if you saw the second one, but Ooh, Doctor Doom was in both of them. I'm pretty sure. So. Yeah, yeah, I've definitely seen one of them. Um. I and don't then, think I've seen the rise of the Silver Surfer. No, I've not seen that. Right. Um, so th- it's so strange the way that they're doing this. Basically, the way that they've set up this run is they're trying to do Secret Wars, and they're still going ahead with Secret Wars, um, sure. which is a comic run. I, I'm not sure exactly how they're going to do it in the movies, but in the comics, it's like Battle World, essentially. So... There's two universes world. that are going to collide uh, and only one can exist, I think. So okay. some guy, uh, it is, it's different depending on what iteration of the story it is. But there's usually mm-hmm. like one villain that has brought all of the characters from lots of different continuations and universes together on one place and makes them all fucking fight each other. And the winners are the ones that get to live on this new universe, I think. Um, okay so the idea would be that this is how the mcu gets mutants because in it would be that in our current mcu the reason we've never seen any mutants at all and the x-men don't exist is because Mm -hmm. they don't exist in the mcu earth 616 timeline but okay after secret wars they would then be brought in because it would be like a merging of different worlds um, okay, the timelines are crossing. Yeah. So, well, so the the person that was going to be the figurehead of Secret Wars that was like conducting it, the puppet master person, was going to be Kang. Um, mm-hmm. Jonathan and, Majors. Yes. Obviously, he is no longer part of it, so they had to find someone else. There was rumors for a bit that it was going to be recast, and they were still going to do Kang. Um, there's a great actor that I can't remember the name of that was like. At, at some point in some publication was like the front runner for this like recast and i was mm. so excited because they seemed like they were going to be a great fit and it wouldn't be like too weird that they were like a completely different person um sure 
it's actually really funny. Uh, Kang's whole thing is that he exists. There's like so many versions of him all throughout time. Uh, and he's kind of like unkillable because he exists at all periods of time all the time. So if you kill this one, the so one that Kang's existed God. before him yeah, would like still exist. So sure. Um, and also because of it being like multiple different versions of him, they don't have to all look the same. And a lot of Kangs will be Kang in name, but like look different. Um, right. But, Quite confusing for viewers, probably. Yeah, so obviously, Marvel thought that was too confusing. And in one of the post credit scenes, when here is a stadium full of Kangs that are all the same, it, every Kang no. is played by Jonathan Majors. So they cannot look no, different because they're all fucking it. played by Jonathan Majors. And then literally, yeah. like, the next month, he gets charged for fucking sexual assault or whatever the fuck he did. Yeah. Beat his wife. I don't know. Fucking... I, I, I don't know either. Insane that that... It, like literally one movie earlier and they could have gone with, oh, they don't all look like him. <laughs> and, then yeah. they, and then they did it. <laughs> Yikes. Um, so I kind of understand why they didn't recast because they literally kind of went, hey, all this guy, this guy's Kang. Every single version of Kang is this guy. And they, right. like, they even made a blue alien version of his face. That was, right, because it's like, no, he looks like this no matter what. Yeah. That's who Kang is. Yeah. Um, so that's I so guess funny. they had to switch them out. And a lot of people were saying, oh, they should do Doom because one of the secret wars that was done in the comics was Kang. One of them was Doom. So okay. it's it's not like something it, it would be fitting for Doom to be the person that to do it. But mm. he is, as you said, a Fantastic Four villain. So... Mm. As we're introducing the Fantastic Four into the MCU, it would make sense for Doom to be involved with them rather than mm -hmm. instantly being like a, a world threat. Um, yes. Especially because of how sick Doctor Doom is in the comics uh, as like a character. His lore is amazing. His like, uh, he's, he's sometimes like has almost, he's, he's almost like an anti hero for a lot of the time where it's like, I see you can understand his motives and he's almost doing it for good, but also for his benefit. There's lots of different versions of him where there's a, a better version and whatever. And his brain switches with a couple of people. Um, <laughs> uh, there's, a, I mean, it's comics. So there's a bunch of different versions of him. Yeah. They can um, do whatever they want. But he is a very complicated and very powerful character. Um, and the only reason why he wasn't being used was because they didn't have the fantastic four. Like, otherwise, he would have been a big player in, like, things that were already happening. Um, right. So, you, I think if there's someone that big, you have to be very careful with introducing them into the fucking comics. Sorry, into the MCU. Um, mm -hmm. So, to take someone like that and go, oh, they're Robert Downey Jr. is, like, it's just insane. Right? I, I've, and I was seeing a lot of people <laughs> praising it. And then, thank God, after me going, like, I was like, in my head, this is fucking crazy. I tweeted, this is fucking sure. crazy. And now I'm seeing a lot of people go, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> so I'm not taking crazy pills. Other people agree with me. But it's funny because as like the non Marvel guy, I can look at it and assume it's like, no, isn't this what you, you like, you babies? <laughs> you love him. Right. You love the man. Yeah. Uh, and I, I don't know what's actually true. So for, for me, uh, mm -hmm. And as you are obviously someone that is indifferent to it all, so see yeah. if this train of logic makes sense for you and you follow. So okay. uh, there's only two ways that I think they can do this with Doom having the same face, at least, as Tony Stark, right? Um, okay. Because obviously they're cast by the same person, but they are either... This Doctor Doom is like a variant of Tony Stark, where they've addressed this multiple times in in like or doing all this multiverse shit that there are sure. variants of a person. So yeah, Tony Stark went bad at one point, right? And he has got the the name Doctor Doom, but really he is Tony Stark, and it is a mm -hmm. variant. And he's just putting on a different mask instead of his Iron Man mask. He puts on the Doctor Doom mask or whatever and does Doom shit. Okay, even though in the comics Doctor Doom is Victor Von Doom and like comes from Latveria and has a whole different fucking backstory or whatever. He is not Tony Stark at all. Um, right. 
But hey, maybe they do that. And he is, in this universe, he is a Tony Stark variant. If they do that, cringe as hell. Uh, you because think so? it ruins it's not Doctor Doom then right like the, all of the things that are good about Doctor Doom and that would be really cool he, does, he doesn't have that so okay. he, he loses all of the origin because then he is just Tony Stark mm-hmm. or Robert Downey Jr. is playing a different character and he is playing uh, Victor Von Doom and he is not anything to do with Iron Man which is it's fucking weird as hell because then all the characters from our universe are going to be like that's he looks just like the guy that died and then right. he's going to be like I don't even know who that is I have no relations to them whatsoever this means nothing to me I don't care about yeah. that and that's then so they'll go funny. like okay and move on and it won't be like I don't understand how it can be a poignant thing that matters for him looking like a different guy if he's not that guy I, when you described that second one, my first thought was like, and then through the power of love through universes and his daughter, he remembers that he's Tony Stark. Right. And then they play I am Iron Man. That's like what I assume you guys like. (laughs) Straight up, I assume that people would literally cry in the theater and encourage you. No, no, no. no, 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 That that. is not what people want. This is, this is (laughs) not good. And the, I I think they could do something like that if he is a Tony Stark variant, but I wouldn't want that. And also the introduction of Dr. Doom should be here is a different, he is a different character. He's a new person. He is Dr. Doom. He is not like someone else, right? It sh- mm-hmm. it sh- he's cool enough to just be his own thing. Um, people got really annoyed with the Spider-Man take in the MCU because all of his movies are basically like, uh, the first one is like, oh, Tony Stark made him a suit, and it's all about proving uh, I really love Tony Stark. And the second one's like, Tony's dead. I've got to fucking fight for myself, you know, because I I sure do miss him. Um, mm-hmm. And they're all kind of related to Tony Stark, and people were really annoyed because they wanted Spider Man to have his own story that doesn't really have like a background in Iron Man. Um, sure. And That's crazy is that people character. have been complaining about <laughs> Spider-Man who is like, Spider-Man's got the same story no matter what, right? Like Uncle Ben gets killed and does this. And it's like, we get it. And they finally did something slightly different, which is like tied into Iron Man, which could be a little annoying and people complain as well. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm saying hello like that's crazy. Oh, like, <laughs> I thought Discord uh, fucked. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying like hello. You, we've heard the same Spider-Man literally three times it rebooted yeah. in major motion pictures, and now they've finally done something slightly different, and we're annoyed because it has Tony Stark. I I completely agree with that because I love Homecoming. I love all the Spider-Man MCU movies. I think they're great. Homecoming's sure. made my favorite MCU movie. Uh, mm-hmm. So I I wasn't on board with the hate for no reason. Um, I understand the sentiment. I just think they pulled it off really well. So I don't think it matters too much. Um, mm-hmm. But like, this is a different level, right? This would be like they introduced Spider-Man and when he's played by Robert Downey Jr. It's like, what? Yeah. well, yeah, I'd have a problem with that because this guy's already in the fucking thing and he's, I want my character to be a, an established, really well-developed character, not like a reskin of another character that exists and to have similar yeah. struggles or whatever. So there's just, I don't think there's a good enough reason for Robert Downey Jr. to be in this role that I can mm. think of. And I'm just praying to God that just Kevin Feige has tickets, thought bro. of a better he, reason. He, di- he died and people don't care about Marvel movies anymore, bro. We're just trying to sell some tickets. Uh, I, I think, think people do care about it. Marvel movies when they're good. Uh, like Guardians 3 did really well. People like that. This new Devil sure. movie is a good movie. People like that. There was There's a bunch yeah. of uh, TV shows that are... Uh, like Marvel TV shows that are really good. They started off strong yeah. after Endgame and it's kind of, there's been I just think it, valleys, there's but, also more Marvel slop than there's ever been. Uh, I don't think than there's ever been, but recently sure, it hasn't since, been good. Since the for sure. Avengers like first arc, right? Because there are so many TV shows, ah, it's no, like a lot of people, two, there's, there's a lot of people stinkers. really dislike um, She-Hulk, right? A lot of people really yeah, dislike... That's, unfortunately, uh, I understand the criticisms because the CGI is fucking awful. Uh, sure. But it sucks because it's hard to find like people actually having valid criticism to yeah, it. Yeah, versus most of like, them are just, like all, yeah, all right, a lot of people didn't women. like Miss Marvel. A lot of people didn't like the new Doctor Strange, right? It's like, I think yeah. that we, we are at a point where Marvel fans used to be like, it's a Marvel movie. I'll be there. I'm going to like it. And I'm not even going to tell myself I like it, even if I don't. Yeah. And now we're at a point where it's like, oh, closer to 50 50 or, or 60 40, like, don't like, where it's like, I don't know how I feel about this one. Yeah, I'm. And without. 
without the steady hand of like Tony Stark and original Captain America, I think it's going to get worse for him. Uh, I, well, I, I think it's going to, I think it's literally, this is the worst mistake that they could make by. I, yeah, yeah, I think it's the opposite. I, um, I, maybe worse mistake for longevity, but I think they're going to sell more tickets this way. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Loads of people are going to go and yeah. see it. And then they're going to go see yeah. how fucking awful and bad it is. And that it doesn't actually, it de- does neither of the things. It will not create a really good, cool villain that is Dr. Doom. And it won't introduce uh-huh. him well into the story. And it also won't be anywhere near as cool as Iron Man existing. Like if they if they wanted to go heavy down one, I'd be totally down with them doing like he's evil Iron Man and he is not Doctor Doom and he's just evil Iron Man. But sure. the fact that he is Doctor Doom fucks it up completely. It's just cringe. I think they're just gonna say that Doctor Doom is evil Iron Man now, man. Yeah, but if they do, then that so Kevin Feige has such a like respect for the comics and what like has come before him and stuff that I can't see him actually doing that because that just goes against so many of the things that he's like built. Disney, dude, it's a for-profit legacy. company. Yeah, but he, uh, if it if it was just Disney, I'd agree. But the fact that he's still there, uh, he, I've not. There's not a decision that he's like been a part of that mm-hmm. I've thought I, that I can't see at all how it's going to work until this this is the one Mm -hmm. where i'm like i I just don't see it working at all and i am really worried so uh i i think it's gonna i think this is the moment things fucking die or it somehow works and if it if it even slightly works bringing robert down jr back is sick so if it's actually good and he's back then um um it's i want to separate those two on it being good and it working whereas like i think it's gonna work I, I actually am so confident that I think it's going to work. Uh, now, who knows if that means it's going well, no, to be it, it good. It depends. Sorry. Uh, when you say it's going to work, you mean yeah. the, the box office is going to fucking blow up. And it's I think this really is well. going to be like the biggest Marvel movie since Avengers, the last yeah, Avengers. Movie. I, I yeah. agree. But that doesn't yeah. mean that it's going to be a good movie, right? Agreed. But I, I'm, yeah. I am saying that this is 100% going to work, as in uh-huh. for this one movie. <laughs> but yeah. it's, it's either going to be like, absolutely fucking dog shit awful and kill the MCU because everyone's going to be like, what the hell? They brought Robert Downey Jr. back and it's awful. Uh, or they somehow pull it off because they wouldn't be putting all their eggs in this basket by bringing him back without mm. thinking that it's going to work, right? They wouldn't want to get, they wouldn't like advertise and be like, dude, Robert Downey Jr. is is in this, he's coming back and not only that, but he's the villain. Come and watch the movie. They wouldn't do that for like a one film cash cow, right? Mm. They would do it because they actually have full faith in it and they believe that this is going to work. It is scary that it was supposed to or, be Or just to be clear, Kang. or they have no faith in the current leads of uh, Marvel movies, right? I don't think they have to have full faith in this strategy, but they could just have no faith in the current one. I, I think this, say say the MCU's at like 50% or whatever. You were sure. saying like people not liking it and yeah, it yeah, being yeah, hit yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah. Let's say it's currently at 50%. I think this mm-hmm. either, like after this movie, depending on whether it's good or not, either mm-hmm. puts it to like 90 to 100% or like to 10 to 0% uh, for like after this movie. This is like the crossing yeah. point uh, where sure. it's like, this is either going to be fucking amazing or fucking awful. And that will be everyone's sentiment leaving, not just like people that are like, oh, I, I wanted Doctor Doom to be something different like me. I just think it's, I, man, I think it's done unless they find new leading characters that people care about. Like, I mean, Tom Holland is there. We Unfortunately, we lost T'Challa. You know, there's like, they, they just don't, I don't think they have people who can pick Black up the Panther mantle. Panther fucking not being around actually severely fucked up there. Like, I agree, because he sure. could have been the next, uh, you know, he Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, for, like, he was fucking it. amazing, exactly. man. It sucks. Uh, and because that didn't happen, they're sitting here, and it's like, unfortunately, yeah, and Captain Thor, America. The latest yeah. Thor movie fucking blows, and then Doctor yeah, Strange yeah. was kind of mid. It's like, bro, they yeah. must have been fucking shit. That's what I was saying. They're throwing Tony Stark back by so necessity. Well, it's so necessity. Oh. Dude, it's this, they're like, everything is, we have not been able to find someone who can lead this franchise guys and so where did that leave you crawling back to me Tony yeah. Stark takes off the mask yeah. I just I, I don't I, I don't see the vision so hopefully they do something because uh, yeah. <laughs> the vision is there they just have no they're fucked they have no <laughs> they have nothing they can do I don't know um, I, I just don't know what they could do, do but cast someone else cast a really cool yeah, but who, to do. who could 
Who could do it? Literally, like a famous actor. Anyone else that isn't that doesn't ruin yeah, Doctor Doom. You, you need a you need a famous actor who actually can like do the thing. I yeah, and there's tons. There's it. so many. Also, there's a whole uh, race side where he's not Romani, and there's a bunch mm. of uh, like every Doctor Doom hasn't been like the same race as Doctor Doom in the comics, uh, mm. and it, that sucks too. But like, I, I haven't even dressed that bit. I'm just like mad because it's Tony Stark. But there's a whole other reason to be mad about this casting as well. So, uh, I see. yeah, I'm, I'm, all, I'm on the hater arc for it for sure. Um, Fair enough. Anyway, we should move on because we've been yapping for 56 minutes, and I really Ooh. want to do this funny bit. Can we? Okay, let's do it. Funny bit. Let's close out. Because uh, this is the. So I was laughing before doing this, uh, before doing the podcast. I was laughing at Stan two stands about this because yeah. so this yeah, is so funny um let me find the the tweet here it is here it is here it is have you seen this first of all it's got 144 million views so if you haven't are you living under a rock i've scrolled by it and i like read one thing and it was weird and gross and so i did not yeah it is it. weird and gross i didn't realize yeah. when i also did the same thing and scrolled past it that it has it's a six minute video of this guy sure. scrolling through his snapchat dms with a girl um right and uh the the tweet reads this is extremely embarrassing to post but this proves my ex was lying about the age of the guy she cheated on me with which you could you could say in a screenshot you don't need to scroll through six minutes of dms so yeah. it makes me think that this guy's kink is like uh what was it where you like get shamed on in public and you it, that turns you on uh, i believe it's called public shaming it's oh public shaming that makes sense i uh, thought uh, hey I, i'm not I an expert, had a special but you, word but maybe i'm crazy. i think you nailed it yeah um, I think this guy has that because I scrolled through the whole conversation and sure. it, there's like so many bits that you don't need to say to prove that you don't need to include at all right. to prove that she's lying. Are you telling me that the fact that baby girl said you can't eat pussy, right? You can't kiss, right? What am I here for at this point? <laughs> so is not important to the narrative. You are you are maybe skipping ahead a bit too much, Stance. I hope you're not letting the video sure. play. I went one minute. I went one minute in uh, just to pick we, a random point to see something. We are going to go through. I've screenshotted some of the best. Um, okay, great. And I was just wondering, do you want to be baby girl or should I be baby girl, Stance? No, I will be baby girl. Your baby sure. girl? Yeah, you're public shame boy. Uh, okay, I'm going to put on the best public shame voice um, uh -huh. because this guy types a lot of unhappy faces and every yeah. time he does, I can only imagine him weeding the room. He's just writing a message like this and he was so <laughs> sad about it. Uh, and some of the responses, the blunt responses from Baby Girl are amazing. So sure. I've got six screenshots. Here we go. Okay, let's rip it. Number one. So you're me in this. Uh, it starts. No, from I'm the top. baby girl. I'm baby girl. Oh, you're baby girl. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Girl. We literally just Come on, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. Can we please be lovers eventually? He told me to stop talking to you and find my own path. Can I please marry you one day? Right before he left me. No, baby, please. I miss him so bad. I this want so you to funny. be there with you. No, this is a nightmare. How is this happening? I feel like I'm suffocating. Die, die, die. <laughs> the, the die, die, die is insane. Die, die, die is good, but the next line actually is the best part. Baby, you love me. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. So obviously all these screenshots, uh, sorry, all these Snapchats are like being sent at the same time, right? Like sure. they're responding to messages in between other messages being sent. So yeah, sometimes these all happen within the same minute. Yeah, yeah, sometimes the conversation gets a bit like fucked and confused confused but yeah. it's it's so funny the like real-time reaction <laughs> just die 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 she can see him yeah. typing and she's just like no die 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 yeah. uh, no okay i'm sorry you can't eat pussy right you can't kiss right what am i here for at this point i thought, <laughs> I thought you told me i ate pussy good i thought <laughs> you liked my kisses <laughs> If you don't give me money, there's no point. I asked you and you told me that I did. Yes, then I kisses Lawrence. <laughs> I'm sorry, you told me that I did good. Was this, That should have been on the other message. Oh, I thought he was saying good that she kissed Lawrence. <laughs> don't you get it? 
You were my first. But he ate you out. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, next one, next one. And this happened at Coachella. And am I to understand that Lawrence is a minor? Is that what I'm... (laughs) Uh, I think they're what they're referencing, like when they're talking about all this stuff. I think they were all minors. Um, oh, she's talking okay. about when she was seventeen, and I think he was also seventeen. Uh, I see. And in this text chain, she says he's eighteen, as in her, her yeah. ex, Lawrence. So uh-huh. that I guess is what the age thing. I don't know any of the context. The context doesn't matter to me. I just fucking these messages are you fucking like messages. amazing. Yeah, sure. Why is he so special compared to me, unhappy face? He handled arguments better. He took care of me with words better. <laughs> but it was a package. <laughs> he took care of me with the words better. It's the, the, some of the, most of the time, baby girl's spitting. And then she He sometimes... has to change her name off of baby girl in his phone. <laughs> uh, or in Snapchat. I didn't tell you this, but I'm taking anger management classes online. I'm sorry I'm not the package. It was real teen love. Just two people in love. (laughs) Everything we did was like a movie. But that was us. And one day, he told me that he tries to make his life seem like a movie. (laughs) We had that too. (laughs) I don't even get that. I don't even think this guy's so annoying. (laughs) His response to everything is like, me too, though. Yeah, yeah. I always loved you. No, I always did. You tell me no, but I always did. Baby, this is so sad. I feel like I'm living in a nightmare. Okay. (laughs) Why aren't we happily ever after? I don't care. I want you so bad. You did this to yourself, dumbass. (laughs) I'm so sad. (laughs) Frowny face, frowny face, frowny face, frowny face. Moment really unhappy face. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, These next two... There's there's one screenshot that I didn't include um, because she says a slur in it. Uh, okay, well, let's there's see, I so that one, maybe. there's like so many. I, I could screenshot any point in this conversation, and it would be screenshot worthy. That's how sick this is. Um, right. Okay, next one. I'm so sad. He's he's always sad. I'll say <laughs> the, yeah. the unhappy faces and him having to type. I'm so sad with the amount of unhappy faces that he's putting is crazy. Uh, sure. I'm so sad. I'm not going to be with you now. Please, please, baby. No, don't do this. Apologize for everything. You scum fuck. <laughs> I don't care about how you feel. You're disgusting. You're not my type anymore. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> this this next diatribe that he goes on in response to that is crazy and it ends yeah. insane i'm yeah. sorry for calling you names i'm sorry for being disgusting please come back i will be your pay pig i'm so desperate oh. for you please just let me be in your life i miss you so much you don't have to love me i just want to oh, help you baby no. i'm so sorry i feel miserable with you i assume he means what? without you without you uh, yeah. you are so much better than me i will do everything to help you baby i love you i'll let you date other guys i'll let you do anything you want to me this is this is just fetish content this is just publishing right, this I'm is saying. actually that yeah this is he posted this so that people would read it because that's what he gets off on yeah 144 million people have, have read through these this is crazy yeah uh, this one's short but sweet uh okay if you don't want to <laughs> understand i love you but i really will be anything and everything and make you happy unhappy face you kind of just suck. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love that as a response. Uh, okay, this one, again, hell of a paragraph that I'm going to have to read through. Uh, but sure. you've got an amazing last line as a response, okay. Dan. So okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, my God. Please, can you come back and let me give you everything that I owe you, baby? You don't owe me. I owe you. Please, I don't want your fucking pussy. I just want you to be happy. You can date other guys. I don't care. I just want you to be sad and upset. I'm sorry. I just don't want you to be sad and upset. I want you to have a good life. I do care about you, baby. People can give you a place to live, but they can't give you a career. This is crazy. I can show you how to do that, babe. You only need to be with me for a year and then uh, that's it. And hopefully I can change things. Even if you don't want me to be with me earlier, you can go. I just want you to know that I always care and love you. I'm sorry about what I said. I'm just sad that this is happening so close to the trip and now I don't know how you feel. Please. I love you and I only want to make 
make up for my mistakes. This is the only way I thought of, and now I know I'm going to be able to, unhappy face. Kill yourself. Unhappy face again. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. Holy shit. Dude, that so, was surely something. It's fucking uh, this guy, is this guy a Fortnite guy? I'm looking at his Twitter as we're doing <laughs> I this. I have yeah. no idea. Like I said, I didn't want to look into it anymore in case yeah. there was like stuff I found out that made me not find this funny. Because I want to yeah. forever find this funny because it's insane. Sure. Um, but the, uh, the, the craziest bit to me is that obviously the fact that it's a six minute, 40 second of him just scrolling through his Snapchat history or whatever. Why yeah. does he go all the way back to that message? The, the last one we read is yeah. the, the last message that he posts, uh, sure. that he like scrolled up to. And then yeah. about a minute before that. Is like where he says, where she says the the age of Lawrence, the guy in question, uh-huh. her ex, and then there's five minutes before. Then why is it all there, dude? This is crazy. It's insane. It makes no sense whatsoever. It is really like he wanted to have the kill yourself line included in the screenshots because there's no reason to carry. I on. know you don't want to know anything about this guy, but how many subscribers do you think he has on YouTube? Um, I don't know whether it's worse if it's like 50 or worse if it's like 5 million. Um, but I assume one of the two extremes. Sure, 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 sure. It is 1.5 million. Jesus Christ. And that's he's so got a video many. that hits 7 million. Uh, I mean, obviously some of these are old. He still puts out videos. He put out a video last week. Are his videos like him looking stupid be like please don't take the piss no out of his me videos are him playing uh black ops zombies that's it that's all he does he plays zombies. Oh, okay i hey uh, zombies content's kind of sick maybe i like this guy yeah you might actually like him <laughs> that is crazy though yeah i i'm not looking into him he seems crazy um yeah. but that was it that was why i was laughing at before this call that i thought was so fucking it funny. is crazy uh, yeah they, they kill yourself so... is is insane <laughs> just that that was the opener as well because the snapchat it's like conversation obviously he's scrolling up so the the later in the video is the earlier message so the first message he sent was the please can you come back and then she replies kill yourself and then they have the whole yeah. conversation after that um, <laughs> so funny yeah <laughs> so you did this to yourself dumbass <laughs> it's so good and the little bit where uh oh where, where's the fucking eating pussy one uh i thought you told me i ate pussy good <laughs> yeah dude, with a little it's, unhappy face oh, it's, it's, it's amazing it is tough um oh, i hate knowing things about content creators in their private life i want them to just be a youtuber you know what i mean oh i sorry the way you phrased that was like you have juicy oh like beef. i have tea no no no, no. The, i'm just saying in general about, like fucking eating pussy and you're like i yeah. wish i could say this i hate the fact that i know this about ludwig eating pussy yeah, it's like damn. there's a lot of stuff about destiny right it's like hey destiny will be talking about like politics or something and it's like fine 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 and then people will reply with like stuff about his personal life it's like i don't want to know that or care or anything it's like what is happening here yeah i mean i, I just, wish i didn't know these things i hate destiny so i wish i knew that's fine it, is, it doesn't it. matter hate or love what i'm talking about is that like knowing these things about people is objectively worse in my opinion uh you mean like sex life and shit yeah i agree yeah yeah or personal life or family personal life, life is fine like, like learning about I, I don't even want them to know about their life I, i'm i'm down to be like a little bit parasocial i'm down to like know <sighs> stuff about people's personal lives and stuff but i don't want to know if they're good at eating pussy I think that's where I draw sure. the line. <laughs> that's where you draw the line against it. Yeah. You know what? I respect that about you. You've always you've always been an honorable person. Um, all right, Stans. I think that's it. I, I have actually other things that we could talk about, but we've been talking for a long time, so we don't need to. Uh, yeah. We can save them for another d- a rainy day. Let's save it. Hey, I have good news for you. I'll tell you on the pod. I think Rochelle can do New Moon <gasps> tomorrow. Yo, that'd be sick. Like five, New Moon? 5 p.m.-ish. That doesn't PM-ish. necessarily mean it's going to be next week for people watching. No, no, but we can at least get it recorded. The, the, the video bit, the sorry, the, yeah. watching the movie is going to be separate to doing the podcast bit. So uh, the yes. podcast might not be, we'll work it out. Maybe Thursday for the podcast. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, maybe. Yeah, Thursday is also an option. Oh, for the podcast. I meant for recording. Yeah, we're trying to figure that out. Yeah, we, if we do don't both, want to miss my basketball time. Yeah, 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 we'll work it out. Anyway, uh, catchphrase, Stance. 
Oh, I have none. Once you pop, the fun don't stop. Have I used that before? Probably. Um, no. Unleash the Ultra Beast. Uh, Ooh, what's that from? You definitely not Monster Energy. Oh, really? Yeah. Unleash the Ultra Beast? I don't know. Obviously, I'm, that's off the top of my head. It's oh, not like I'm, yeah, because you've been drinking 100 Monster Energy. No. A week. I forgot about what? that. What? I Me? actually forgot about that. All right, get out of here. Don't drink energy drinks. Appreciate you all listening. Baba Booey. That's a spicy Baba meatball. Booey, that's a spicy See meatball. Ya. Bye.